Hello from the bathroom. Today, we're gonna install a curved shower curtain rod. This is also going to be a review of the Makita power drill. I have an old version. Now I have the latest and greatest. Hopefully I don't crack the tiles. And if all goes well, I'm gonna have a lot more elbow space in the bathroom. Right now the shower liner kinda floats in to the shower area, sticks to the arm and it feels terrible and gross. I should get a few more inches of elbow room and it should make the experience a lot more luxury and hotel-like. I'm sitting on the toilet. Sitting on toilet. Sitting on toilet. So here's the rod itself. It's curved. It's extendable. And it's been sitting in my house for three months, so I'm excited to finally get this thing installed. There's this Makita and this Makita. This one's from about 2006. It's a plug-in and it comes with this piece. This is very heavy. The cord is long, but if I'm trying to install things closer to the ceiling, it always seems to fall short. I've installed a lot of things with it, but it's never necessarily been comfortable or easy because my arms get sore. It's like blow drying long hair, you know? You gotta hold the blow dryer and the round brush above your head and it takes forever and your arms are so sore by the end you wonder why you're doing it at all. Nyan, are you gonna get her? Here we have the latest Makita. This one was a wedding gift from some dear friends. You know who you are, thank you very much. First of all, it's cordless. Second, it's so much lighter. Like, it's got the lithium battery. It clicks out just like this. Yep, clicks out, slides back in. It came with a spare battery pack. And here is the charger. You plug into the wall, you slide the pack in. Not entirely sure what all the different signals are here, but I just plugged in the battery and waited for all the lights to turn green. This one has one more mode than the other drill. Hammer drill, like drilling drill, and screwing the light that appears so I can see into the hole. When I press this button on the battery, it shows me how charged it is. This house was built in the 1890s and our landlords moved in in the 1990s. Since then, there has been no major overhaul, only small piecemeal updates to various parts of the house. This bathroom was renovated once, I think in the past 10 years. Let's get into it. I'm back, it's been a few days. Now I'm actually going to install this curtain rod. That's where the holes are gonna be. Here are the diamond tip drill bits. Premium diamond. I changed into my glasses because I don't have safety goggles. I don't know how much dust this thing is about to generate. Um, I also have my mask. This probably isn't even gonna filter out the super fine stuff that would get in my lungs, but whatever. Better to do something than nothing. So I've got the drill set to the screw setting, definitely not the hammer setting. I gotta tighten this piece. I'm gonna start on the one setting. Actually, I don't know what these numbers mean, so I'm gonna look them up quickly. This toggle has to do with the speed, and this toggle has to do with these numbers here, have to do with the torque. So I'm gonna start with low speed, low torque, and see if that does the trick. I didn't think about how my glasses would fog up with the mask. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, low speed, low torque is not gonna do it. It's just sliding around. I'm gonna try changing, moving this up and seeing if that helps. <laughs> it keeps like slipping it through. Okay, I guess I'll turn the speed up even more. No, I'm doing it. Okay. It is mad dusty. I really wish I had safety goggles. I made it through the tile. I think I should switch the drill bit to get all the rest of the way through. This is exhilarating. Look at this. 
Look at that. It's a hole. Okay. I don't know why I was so worried. I just have to, I just had to start the damn thing. Okay, here I go. I'm sweating. Shit. This one's going very differently. You want me to do it? Let me, let me try this side. It's got to be exactly there. Oh. Oh my god. It keeps like jumping across the tile, so I changed this from two to one, which means there should be more power, but not, you know, like hammer drill power. So I had to call it back up, but sometimes that's just what you gotta do. I'm grateful to have backup. Now I'm gonna take this bit and finish drilling through the holes so the anchors fit. Hopefully the holes are in the right place, but we'll find that out later. Oh god, I think there's metal there. It's either metal or this drill bit is wiping off on the plaster. One like that deep. I need to be like a quarter deeper than this. Ah! I'm gonna go back in with the diamond bit. Ah! I'm gonna go make sure it didn't uh, poke a hole through the other side. Okay, no hole on the other side. We're we're good. Okay. I'm sweating so much, oh my god. Um, there's metal behind the tile. I wasn't anticipating that. Maybe it's because I drilled too close to... You know what? I don't know why. I don't know how I would have known that. I don't know how construction people would have known that. Maybe they have the right tools to use. Um, I got all the way through on this side, but this side, the drills aren't really budging. So. I'm gonna make sure these fit into these holes just so I can feel like I'm making progress and then I'm gonna figure out what I need to do about that side. I'm hoping maybe I can just like cut the anchors and find shorter screws and make it fit into the shallower holes. Um, but I'm gonna cross that bridge when I get there, one thing at a time. Okay, anchors are in. I tried the hammer drill setting with a diamond drill bit on the other holes, didn't work. Didn't crack the tile though, so now I'm gonna try to cut these to size and see if I have shorter screws that I can use instead of the very long ones. I'm not giving up. I'll try these because they're longer. If that doesn't work, I'll try these. They're still sticking out a little bit. I don't really want to cut them anymore because I think they need that taper for the screws to catch. So, I'm gonna just keep going. All right, it's in. It's kind of floating off of the wall a little bit, but nobody's gonna see that. They will see this one. I did unscrew this one and re-screw it back in. I didn't push the anchors far enough in, so you could see the red and the hardware wasn't flush against the wall, but we are looking good. Okay, I think the worst of it is over. So what I'm gonna do is add these pieces. These pieces slot into the pieces I've installed on the wall. Um, there's a little mechanism here which I need to tighten with this L wrench. So I'm gonna do that first and then slot things in. We're gonna be living a life of luxury. Life of luxury. If, if the, whoop, if the liner still touches my arm at the end of this, I retire. Oh my God. Okay, time to install the new curtain. Or the new liner, I'm using the same curtain. I bought this type of hanger where um, you hang the liner and the curtain on different hooks. I thought this would help keep space between the two and make it hang more nicely. I should probably do this while I... Here we go! I'm 
gonna clean up in here and I'll report back. I feel like Homer Simpson in that meme. I'm about to take a shower and see if the liner floats in and touches my arm still, but I wanted to share some of my learnings. I don't think there's anything I could have done to predict the metal behind the tile. Even if there was, I'm pretty proud of how I improvised and I'm not doing pull-ups off of the, the rod, so I don't need it to be, you know, super anchored into the wall. The drill was exactly what I needed for this project. I think if I had to use the old drill, I wouldn't have finished this project altogether. It's way too heavy. The cord wouldn't have been long enough. I would have had to deal with extension cords. It would have been a nightmare. So I'm really glad that we were gifted this drill and I'm excited to do more home projects with it. One more thing is I wish I had proper safety goggles and a particulate mask. I actually do have a particulate mask. I just didn't feel like looking for it. So hopefully I didn't lose a few years off my life, but only time will tell. All right, so we have created the situation in the bathroom where the liner would typically float in. So let's see what happens. It's not moving. It's staying put. I'm so happy. Yay. Thanks for watching.